Stephen, I was just wondering, um, you obviously got a good draw there tonight uh, against a very top European side. Were you happy with the performance over the 90 minutes or was there anything you were a little bit disappointed about? No, I think overall we were, we were happy to stay in areas we can improve for sure. Um, but I felt we had the better chances in the game. And, and um, yeah, there's moments that we can improve and, and we will. Uh, but overall I thought we were very good. We've heard that maybe a couple of the players that some people would have expected to start perhaps carrying Knox, Rory Gaffney, Jack Byrne. Was it always the plan to keep it tight for 60 minutes, try and keep the clean sheet up till then, then unleash the two players and, and maybe try and nick something? No, well, nothing to do with Knox, um, to be honest. We just have a busy schedule and uh, it's about using the squad. I trust every player in the group and, and we'll continue to do that between now and the end of the year. We have two or three games a week now, um, so we lose the squad. Um, and, and regarding keeping it tight, <coughs> We just had to respect them early on, uh, transitions, and, and I thought they did that. Our shape in, in and out possession was really good. There was maybe one or two moments that they had, but other than that, our, our transitions were really good, our shape was good. Um, and like I said, then we played off the back of that. And would you be confident now that you could go to their ground and perhaps get something out of that, that game as well? Uh, we need to forget about that. We need to focus on Finn Harps and then again to next week. That, that'll look after itself when it comes round. Thanks. Okay. It was a very interesting start in 11. Can you talk to us? Sorry? It was a very interesting start in 11. Um, can you talk to us about the thought process of Jack and all coming in late? Uh, start the 17 year old in such a big game and all that? I trust them. I, I trust everyone in the group. They're in the group because I trust them. I believe in them. It's, it's everyone will change and play between now and the end of the year. Um, I, I genuinely don't believe we have a stronger start in 11. Um, to compete on all fronts and want to win the league, want to win the cup and want to win games in Europe, you need every player in the squad ready to play and I believe we have that. Um, and tonight reaffirms that for me that um, whoever starts is ready to play and, and ready to uh, perform. So uh, I'll continue to change the team between now and the end of the year because we have so many games, we have to manage the players' loads. You talk about just this hour. Very good, very good. Um, played someone uh, as if he was in his mid-twenties, um, difficult game to come in and play in, against a good side, um, and it was real tactical early on, but I thought he handled really well. Uh, we shouldn't sort of be surprised, because we know he has that in him, um, but it's just about him now, keep learning and uh, working hard, and, and he has a chance. No, we're frustrated that we haven't won the game. I believe we've had the better chances. Uh, but there's no there was no half time uh, talk in terms of going get at them. There was nothing that we were we were managing the first half really well. We didn't create a lot but uh, games like this in Europe you have to really tactically be, be aware and, and not be open. And uh, like I said, I thought our position within the game was very, very good in the first half and um, that's what gives us the base to go and create opportunities. We just asked about the first 10 minutes of the game. The team absorbed a lot of pressure without, you know, under too much uh, stress but looks of it. What, what's, what, how did you see that first 10 minutes just from your perspective and is that what the team was just designed to do? We just created our own problems early on. Um, our passing was too negative um, and when you do that against a team like them, they like to be aggressive in the press and we avoided it early on. After that, we, we penetrated through them a lot better and, and killed the press. But uh, early on, we caused our own problems. And then just in terms of their, their, their own sort of... But they tried to play the ball in defence. They really showed up with some of their, their frailties in, in, the, in the opposition side. That will give you encouragement to come into the, into the future games. Yeah, like I said, we knew coming into the game we have some good players in the attacking part of the pitch, but we, we feel um, that we could cause them problems, and, and we did that tonight. Um, we played some top European teams here this year and the past few years, and we've shown when we're at our levels we can cause them problems, and I felt tonight 
uh, we could cause them issues. And, and when we were right and when we were aggressive in our play, in our positions, we caused them problems. Thank you. Can I just jump in with one for Lee? Lee, how did you find the step up that pace of the game? And um, were you pretty confident that you and the team would be comfortable in all these games uh, that are left in the group? Look, I don't think it's a, a step up from what we've played already in our uh, competition. I think the Uberts and Farm Cowards were just as good as teams. Um, obviously, we knew this team would be a, a good team and they'd have some good players, but I thought we managed the game well. First five minutes, as the gap we said, we caused our own problem, but I thought we settled down for that and took control of the game, barring the last 20 minutes where we had to kind of dig in and, and see it out, but I still thought we were in control and um, thought we had better chances. Than, Probably should have won the game, but look, it's a point on the board. Obviously, I'm happy as a clean, for a clean sheet as a defender, and, and yeah, we move on. Thanks. And Steve, it, it may be too early to ask about Sean Orr's injury, and no, no, they're not, but Sean Gannon, so I don't know if you have a prognosis on that. Image. Um, we're hoping Sean Hoare will get out uh, before any serious damage is done. He um, he did feel something, but we're hoping it's not too bad. And um, Sean Gannon tweaked his knee. Um, he doesn't look too bad at all in the dressing room, but um, with such a quick turnaround in games, so we'll have to obviously assess him in the morning and, and see how both are. Showing that they perform well and in training and when they get the chance to play. So uh, that's uh, why. Did a good game as well? Very good, I believe that one, one bad decision, but uh, else uh, very calm, very good, and saved us when we had a couple of bad uh, actions. Uh, last question, a question about that. Uh, the fact that you got Jakob, did, did it have anything to do with the, the game against the world in Europe uh, last time around that you felt the pressure uh, recording that? No, uh, I think it's pressure every game. So uh, we have a big, uh, big game Sunday and another big game next for next uh, next week against Molde. So we have big games all the time now. So no. I was just curious. Um, you are obviously still in the title race in your domestic league. You're only a point behind. Have you prioritised? either competition like is it more important to do better in the league for you or did you really try and go out and win this game tonight we're trying to win every game as long as we're in the race in the swedish league for the top spots and as long as we have a chance uh, in uh, the conference league we're trying to play the best team that we can but we can't play the same 11 players every game because it's too many games we need to choose those players that's in good shape was there anything about Shamrock Rovers tonight that surprised you? Um, no, not really. Um, I'm a bit surprised uh, that we uh, we had such uh, low energy in periods during the game because we know that Shamrock would, uh, Rovers would come out with a lot of energy. So uh, that's uh, a bit surprising that we lost energy in the middle of the first half. But, uh, Shamrock, uh, maybe one, one or two players that I didn't expect to start the game, but uh, they played uh, as we expect. It, there was a penalty. There was a penalty shout just near the end there. Uh, the Shamrock Rovers player Lyons pulled your striker. Did, did you feel that was a? You should have had a penalty. From the bench, it looked like a penalty, but you know, in football, it's a lot of players. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's a lot of players in between. So the referee made the call, and he didn't take it. So probably it wasn't. Thank you. Um, not sure. Probably sometime uh, in those uh, friendly games where you can change the whole score, but score, but um, the first time this season at least. Obviously, it was uh, that you were disappointed with the, with the team. Uh, how did the outcome get uh, after the changes? Uh, it took like 10 minutes, but then we got control in the last 20 minutes of the game where we are controlling the game and create the chance, creating chances around that box. So uh, we got where we wanted, but it took like 10 minutes before we got the effect of the changes. Is this a good point for you to like to did you see enough in your team and in Shamrock Rovers that you would be confident of the return leg that you will take three points at home? Uh, we always try to get three points, but confidence that we will get it. Uh, you, you can never be sure of that, but uh, 
I know that we can play better than we did than what we did today. Uh, at the, um, the first 20 minutes was okay, and the last 20 minutes in between, not that good. So if we can raise our game, then we'll see if Rovers also can raise their game in the time like. Uh, we've been playing two games a week now for three months, I think, and we're going to do that for two and a half months ahead. Uh, so you can't play 90 minutes every game, so we need to keep playing straight. Just one last thing, sorry. Uh, in, in the end of the game, the, the Rovers fans uh, shouted, Hamabi, Hamabi, Hamabi. I don't know, did you hear that? And what are your thoughts about that? Uh, didn't notice, but I heard that they have some connection with uh, with Amadi, so that's okay. probably why. <laughs>